Hi, this is Chris Charles, Everyday BBA, and this Macro Monday Challenge, we are finding the highest and the lowest number within a within 10 random numbers. So pretty straightforward. I've got uh, equals rand in here. It's going to give you anywhere from 0 0.01 all the way up to uh, 0.99. It may actually have more precision than that, but anyway, that's what we're doing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve this actually with the do loop. Um, we could do it with for loop, but we're going to do a do loop. Um, we're going to go sub find max. Almost put in a space, which it would have yelled at me. And min. Stop there. That was that was pretty tough naming that. Anyway, all right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to have two variables. We're going to go. We're going to do min and max. And I said that we're going to do with a do loop. So we're going to go uh, counter or row R W equals ten. And we're going to do while cells R W. And we are in our, the third column is not equal to double quote. And that way we are going to, I put in next, it needs to be a loop. That way it is going to continue. So if we had a larger set of numbers, it would continue until that was blank. So that's a good way to do a do loop. Uh, I always, if I'm going to do a do loop, I'm always going to put in my counter or whatever I am uh, evaluating to make sure that I don't end up with. Um, infinite loops. Those are always a pain, never fun to deal with. So we are going to go, we're just going to do a simple if statement. We're going to go if min, well, we got to do one thing first. I was going to put in my min, but I'm going to set a high min. So we're going to go uh, min equals, we're going to go uh, 1000 max equals minus 1,000. Now I know that those random numbers are not going to be that high, but that's fine. So we're going to go if min is greater than cells rw comma 3, then always put in your end if, just a good best practice then min is equal to cells rw comma two comma three that needs to be three almost put in an error would have spent forever debugging that and we simply have to do the same thing for our max number except we are going to go max ax um, i'm also hoping that these are not um these are not uh, functions because if you if then we would have to rename those um, could be the case and if max is less than so so let's give this a shot okay we've got our min we've got our max it's going to come down here we're going to do while oh, look at that the cells is 0.16 and then a bunch of precision and precision is basically the number of decimals past the past the um, past the period all right. So, min, is this greater than that? It is not greater than that. We are going to reset it. So now we've got a new minimum number. Now we're going to do the same thing for max. If max is less than, now we've got a minus, right? So our, we've now just set our min and max, which is, the, which is the case because we've only went through one. Now, 0.73 is not smaller than 0.17 which is a variable that we set max is and so it's going to keep looping through each one of those I'm going to go ahead and just put a stop here Let me just type in stop and I'm going to process this and see if it looks correct so it looks like our max is 0.95 or 0.96 which is this last one and it looks like our minimum that looks like 4.2 but we got a negative um, exponent right there it looks like that's going to be this guy right here. That looks correct. It looks like we found those. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simply do a message box. MSGBOX is equal to, uh, we're not even going to do that. We're going to go max equals, and we're going to 
to go and max, and then we're going to do and character 13, which is going to make us go, uh, it's basically an enter within a string, min equals, and this is going to be cells. min equals, gotta, gotta put in the and or it's gonna yell at me. Almost got lost there for a second. This is gonna be min and min. Okay, it does not like this for whatever reason. There we go, we just had to sp separate that. And if we hit F8, it's gonna give our message box and that's gonna give us our mins and our Maxes. Let me hit F8. What I want to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit uh, Enter on any of these, and it will actually change my random numbers. I'm going to also assign a macro. So I'm going to assign the find min and max, and I'm going. It's obviously changed. I still have my stop in there. I'm going to put a comment in front of that because I don't need it anymore. And I just want to make sure that it looks like the max is 99. That looks correct. And our min is 0.125, which would be this guy right here. We are good to go. That is your solution. That is a way to find your minimum and maximum. Now, if you needed to go through and if you wanted to color code those, you'd need to do an additional loop that found the min and the max. Uh, but this gives you the min and the max of a table. This is a common thing that you will do in Visual Basic. This is a good Macro Monday. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great week.